Hey, Caitlin. Hey, Evan. So I heard that you don't have a gift for your brother for Christmas, and I think that's a little bit insensitive of you. But if we use some common sense, we can look around our workshop and probably come up with an idea because if we don't get him something in time, he's gonna be incensed. Oh, but sorry, I'm using, I'm, 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 I'm incessantly using these puns. So okay. let's move on. <laughs> four puns, four, four puns. incense puns? Four incense puns. You get a medium volume fast clap. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna be impressed. making resins, res <laughs> incense holders out of oh, resin yeah. today. And the first one we're gonna be doing is this cool circular design. Um, now, honestly, the mold that we got wasn't that great. So what we did is we laser cut out a like reinforcing box because these walls would flop out and like it just wasn't a strong mold. And so this is gonna be the first mold that we use. Should what are we, we gonna do about off? the nub? Let's yeah. cut it off. It's kind of hard to see, but then this little nub will be the hole that the incense goes into. You can see how it's like a little crooked. Yeah. So a little nub. And we don't want the hole for the incense being bent. I mean, like it's supposed to go straight up, right? It's supposed to go straight up for this design, I think. For this design. So we're thinking we could snip it off all but just a little nub, and then we'll use the nub as a registration point to drill a small hole through later. Are we gonna do it? Yeah. I'm not gonna cut it all the way to the no, base. No, 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 leave a nub. I still want like a locator. Okay, it's done. We also have a long skinny design we're gonna do. Yeah. And we're gonna try some different resin techniques on each of these. Yeah. But I'm gonna start with the uh, with the, the round boy. Yeah, well round. you know what time it is, Caitlin. It is. Resin time, resin time. Do, 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 resin time. I'm so fancy, I'm so fancy. Also speaking so of fancy. resin time, this stream slash Full uh, uncut video slash edit later are all sponsored by Total Boat. Thank you, Total Boat. Thank you, Total Boat. Get over here. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but we have also customized our uh, hoods with with custom stickers that you can get from shopevanandkaylin.com. <laughs> So now for this, we're just going to do clear with alcohol inks, right? So just one, so. one, one bucket of color. Yeah. Or one, one bucket of resin. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll um, add the color. I'll eyeball it. I'm hey guys, do... I'll just be here B-rolling. This is very exciting. Yeah. How can I, oh my God, I'm so large. So do you wanna talk about the design we're going for on that one? Yeah, so there is a design we've seen a, a lot of people do. So it's not like a, a new design, but you do clear resin and then you do drops of alcohol ink and you don't like, if I remember correctly, you don't mess with it too much, right? You don't mess with it too much. You just kind of drop it on top and it might sink. Yeah. Hopefully it sinks and you end up with something cool. I just realized my mask was like partially up. angled in a derpy way. I mean, it's fully sealed because it's like elastic. Yeah, yeah. Look at my jowls, guys. <laughs> I can store some stuff in here. I can put some snacks. Ooh, okay, Wayward Daughter has a tip. You need so to drop white alcohol ink over the top of your color drops in order to get them to sink. Mm, That's okay. awesome. Okay, great tip. Good to know. Wow, I've been mixing for a long time. Woo. It's ready. Too much. Is it too much? Is it overflowing? Oh my gosh. Did surface guys. tension save us? Oh my gosh. We're dropping alcohol in there, alcohol ink. Do we need to like scoop out a scoop? No, there's a little bit of room. Oh, perfect. Wow. That's amazing. Look I'll at pat you. myself on the back, but I might have resin on my hands. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So we do the drops and then we do white yeah. over the drops. Yeah. And so do you want to do all of the colors and then all of the white, or do you want to follow up with the wh white right away? I don't know, chat, what do we do? <laughs> oh, dang it, I dropped a crust. You gonna hear crust, you're not welcome. Oh, um, drop the white a few seconds after the color. If it sits too long, your white will <laughs> blog to the bottom. Okay, do, do, do another blue and then drop it on top. Is the white crusty? Everything is crusty. Ooh, 
yeah. Like that? Is that the way? What is this? Okay, this, this is from Total Boat Official. Total Boat Official says, you can drop tons of colors and then drop the white to sink the colors. The white must be really well shaken. Super well yeah. shaken. I'm so I'm curious to it. see how this comes out. You can see that like there is some depth. So there is something in the middle. Is that bubbles? That might or be is a that cat like hair. something? I'm gonna try popping it. Oh, it's just bubbles. All right. It went Ooh, away. Look at that. Oh man, that's so sad. That was so satisfying oh, to watch. It smoked a little bit. Mmm. I'm also getting tips that um, uh, when you're using alcohol drops, the torch isn't as good. Yeah. Because it's alcohol. Uh, we'll Chad one was saying that view. this seems that like a nice. good amount. That looks nice. It looks like a great amount, I think. Yeah. I think let's, let's, let's end it. All right. Alrighty, shall we move on to the next project? Okay, so there are multiple designs that we have right here. Um, we have the, the round sides. We have square sides. I kind of like the round sides. I like the round, and I, like, I think I like the basic. Just the basic oh, really? shape. Or do you like the star or the moon? I'm open to either. I kind of like one of the ones with the designs. Mm. So before we go too far down it, we really wanted to try doing a glow in the dark one. Yeah. And so um, we have a bunch of different colors of glow in the dark and fluorescent pigment. Could we do like one color in the indents and then if, carefully do other colors? Or do you think it's just gonna go all over the place? One thing we could do, Caitlin, we could get the total boat UV resin do and these. a syringe. Do each of these here, and then we do a pour on top. I oh think my that gosh, would be glowing kind of fun. moons! Yeah, and yeah. then a black galaxy on top <gasps> with sparkles. Yeah. Oh my gosh! I think I'm gonna so get the cool. syringe right now. Rub the mold with the pigment before you add resin to each individual. Okay, so multiple people are saying that. So should we, I mean, we could try it. Ooh, look at them. You look can see them glowing. Glow. Look at the, look at the, uh, yeah, look at because, them glow. Because it's, um, uh, also it's a, it's like fluorescent. The glow in the dark is also fluorescent. Yeah. Three, two, one. All right, let's do the tap test. Sounds clicky. You know what? The one that we coated is glowing more. Already, I mean, you know, it'll take a little bit more time, but. Yeah, all right, lights on. Let's do it. The moons don't look like nail clippings. No. Why would you say that? <laughs> they look like cat's claws. Those are kind of nail clippings. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and actually, um, Start curing them all like this. You can go ahead and zoom out if you want. Well, you can see them glowing though. Yeah. Like you see that? It like glows after, there's like an after image yeah. of glow. That's satisfying. Whoa. Oh my God. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, cause I can't do two minutes using this for the whole thing. Why don't- Should I get the um, big the one? Big, the big boy. Say hello to my little friend. Yeah, this gets all of them all at once. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this looks so cool though, guys. It is oh my god. Very gosh. glowy. With our helmets and our. We're so space right now. So maybe we'll do like black purple, black blue. Yeah, and we'll swirl them. Two colors, we'll swirl them. Should we add glitter? Ultra fine. Yeah, ultra fine. Ultra yeah. fine holographic glitter. Light, light. Yeah, I think the small one. Mm, I love mixing these like dark, deep galaxy colors. Yeah. Okay, so and then we're gonna pre-sprinkle the- Pre-sprinkle uh, glitter. Glitter on there. 
Hi. Hey. Seems a little blown out. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Caitlin. Oops. Oh it's... my gosh. We're never going to escape. I'm sorry. Oh We're no. never going to escape. Oh no. Oh no. Caitlin. What have you done? Oh God. We'll clean it up after the stream. But like, look at that! We can't. We're gonna. We're gonna be stepping in it. We'll sweep it under the table. <laughs> we'll leave it. We'll leave it there forever. I'm already like seeing it in the air. Okay, should we try this again in a nice, controlled manner where I look at just, what just, I'm just, doing? Just, just, just sprinkle your hands over it, and you'll probably get enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's good. Because those are going to be on the surface, you know? Yeah. Which makes sense. I think that's a more efficient use of glitter, you yeah. know? And I'm all about glitter efficiency. I would never waste glitter all in my life. All about glitter efficiency. There you go. Look at that nice hot dog. Look at that nice hot dog. Perfect resin amount, baby, by the way. There's like, you. not gonna be Thank any you. wasted. Thank you. Oh man, look at that. Is there any extras from yours? A little bit. I'll kind of add them in. Those darker swirly bits? Yeah. I think I might mix, add some zhuzh back and forth. Yeah. To this, to like kind of distribute the different colors. Sounds good. Okay. Now, yeah. yours on, on, on the, this side at least, is doing the thing where it's swirling in. I think it's okay. Line. I mean, I can try to guide it. It could be kind of cool, though. Like yeah, that. it could be kind of cool. Let me look at it. Like a, like a warp in space. You know what I mean? It's kind of cool, actually. It's like I don't cool. mind the line. I, think I kind of like neat. it. This is what we just did. Two resin instance holders. One with glowing moons. One that's just straight up galaxy. And then we're over here. This is our alcohol link petri dish experimentation. Yeah. So hopefully those colors should drop down through the resin and show up on the underside. When we flip it over, there should be like cool raindrops of color. With yep. both of these, the final side is the underside. So we don't actually know how they're gonna turn out. Yeah. And this is two part resin. So we're gonna need to let it cure for a little bit. It's the next day yeah. and these have fully cured and now it's time to demold them and see how they turned out because the underside of these is where the magic actually happens. <gasps> Ooh. 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 Whoa. That is cool. That's cool looking. Ooh. I know. Right? Okay, so we didn't cool. fully accomplish the petri d the petri d the petri dish look, but we did get some of them. Some of the little strings that went to the bottom. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> no. Do you have to like let it go for a little bit and then blow it out? Yeah. Ooh. Now, uh, shall we do the glow moon next, no, let's or the do bonus, the, the let's glitter? Let's do the, the, the glitter one, yeah. Okay. Now this one, you just did a bunch of duochrome glitter. I mean... Ooh. I think it looks nice. You know, this one's simple. Yeah. There you go. There you Look go. Look at that. That's working. Yeah, that is working. Look at that. It holds it. <laughs> it holds it? The it's mold glittery? Works. It looks cool. It's a nice, it's a nice simple one. Yeah. You know, but it looks really nice. I mean, this really is just nice. our extra leftover resin, you know, that we just threw we a bunch of glitter in into. Yeah. I hope it looks nice. Okay. I know, me too, with the little moons. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, Those yeah. moves work. Look and at this. And the glitter. Ooh. Oh, I that's love, so cool. I love your dispersion of glitter. Thank you. And yeah, at night, these are all going to so glow. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, when you turn off the lights, I love like the irregularity. Of the powder? Of the powder. It really, really makes it stand out. But look at that. They do glow. They are glowing in the dark right now. look at. Oh, that is so fun. That's really cool. Yay! Well, you know what? Three successful incense holders. Yes. I would say. We got to try it. some new techniques. Mm -hmm. We had fun. That's, That's it. That's it. Thanks for <laughs> Great presents. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited to give these as presents. Me too. You know, I'm, I'm glad that we we're able to make something that someone will enjoy. And I hope you also enjoyed this video and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye! Bye.